All right, so I've got the same setup as last time, but let's say this time we want to do um, a rectangular prism. So just going to create where this would occupy uh, the ground plane. And then some straight lines up. All right, so there's our prism. Now, where is the light coming from? Let's say the light is right here. Make that a bit smaller, right there. And now the same thing. Where does it touch the ground? Well, this is sort of up to you where it's going to touch the ground, because that will determine where it is in space. Like, it could touch the ground here or here, anywhere, really, that is a straight down, let's say it's right here. Okay, so this is the position of our light. And now, if we think of this as a cube, or, sorry, rectangular prism, it's a bit more tricky, but if we think of them like four sticks, just one, two, three, four, then we can just do what we did in the last lesson. And let's think of it that way. So I'm gonna go to the bottom of the light source and then go through each one of these, of the bottom of these, imagine if they're like sticks, like so. And there we go. And then I'm gonna go through the top of the light and go through the top of the stick and where it hits the line that goes through the bottom. So that one's going to be there. This one is going to be here. This one is going to hit through here and touch this one. And I think the hardest part is really just finding which line is which like oh yeah this red line goes through this bottom so we go through this top touch this bottom and there we go so something you might notice is that these lines also go towards the vanishing point see if i connect the yellow lines or the yellow this to that it's also going to the vanishing point um, but anyway, so now what I do is just connect these. So I will go from here to here. And let's make that darker. It's a bit hard to see. Here to here, here to here, and here to here. And I could also connect this to this, but notice how it goes through um, this object, this prism. Um, now, if I was drawing this as if it was a table, let's say like this is, this is the top of the table, right? Then I can do the, I can make this shadow just what it is right now, like that. Just fill in all that and it would be fine. But since we're thinking of this as, um, uh, prism and it's got you know flat sides then uh, you got to think of it a bit differently and you need to connect this to this because this is blocking the light and this would connect to that and now I'm just going to use my poly polygonal lasso polygonal <laughs> polygonal anyway going to use that and I'm just going to fill in the cast shadow. So that would be the cast shadow of this box. Now, it doesn't have to be a cube. Um, what I could do is make, let's just do that. Like I could make this 
uh, much taller and it could go like that, right? So now we have this shape and it is not a cube shape anymore. And all I would do is, well, it's a bit high because it's just going to completely block out the light way far away. Let's just make it a bit smaller. So, oops, get that up and then do that. So now all I need to do is this is the same as this, but this spot right here is going to be different. How do I find where that is? Well, take my light and go through here, through the top of here, and where this touches this line be about right here. That's where I connect this to and can just fill that in and that's going to be the cast shadow so yeah it's pretty pretty straightforward um, if you you know think of these as sticks instead of thinking of them as uh, I don't know just a surface then it works a bit easier and then you just connect each side because uh, you know this and this is the same it represents this and that whatever this represents this this represents that so these are the same and that's the same and that's sorry this whole section is the same as that it's a shadow of that Right? Okay, so that's that.